Welcome back to Body Beautiful. We are talking right now with Dr. Elizabeth Lee about Latisse. We'll be taking your calls with any questions. The phone number 800-440-4884. We'll also be posting the number for the doctor's office during and at the end of the segment. Remember any advice we give you today. You want a second opinion from uh, a physician. I'm playing with this this tool. Instrument this, of torture. It looks like an instrument of torture uh -huh. and it could be if you don't do this. It's you, a, uh, yeah, you can injure your eyelid with one of those. I know that women use... It's a curler, use, right? Yeah, it's an eyelash curler and I know that women use it all over the pl all over the world. Um, I personally have never been able to get one of those close to my eyes without um, flinching, shall well, we say. Yeah, you could pull things out or pinch or, you know, you, these things you also have to be clean. Well, and I'm sure that most of us don't clean things, which brings up another issue about the Latisse in terms of FDA approval is that, you know, they the, the Latisse is dispensed with sterile brushes and the um, instructions are that you apply a drop to each brush and use one brush on each eye. Okay. Um, you know, hygiene and, uh, very important. With the very, eyes. very important, mm -hmm. and also with FDA approval. But you know, of course, we don't we don't use a new brush every time we use our mascara. Well, here's my mascara from the makeup room. This yeah. is about two years old. Yeah, it's time to toss it, right? Exactly, exactly. It's amazing a lot what of people bacteria. And yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Things. It's yeah. amazing what people will put right next to their eyes. So you know, this product makes it um, so that you don't you don't really need to wear uh, mascara. And I don't know if you noticed in the clip that you did, but I get glammed up for the show, but the last thing I have time for every day is putting on makeup. We shot the, those beautiful eyes with the lashes, those are yours, and those that's are, you right. using Latisse. Right, with no mascara and uh, no makeup. Sometimes I put a little lipstick on, but you know, with the filler in the lips, you don't even need too much lipstick. <laughs> All your trade secrets coming out I right now. I don't mind, it's okay. Um, you did make mention the downside, some some weird kind of side effects. There, there are some side effects that, that can, and it, patients need to be aware of this, but the most significant one, which is very unusual when Latisse is used, um, applied to the eyelid itself as opposed to instilled as a drop to treat glaucoma in the eye, mm -hmm. um, is that very light brown eyes, so greenish hazel eyes that like are- Like yours. Well, my, yeah, but mine are actually blue. blue. So if you have, if you're genetically brown eyed, but your eyes are very light, the iris or the pigmented part of the eye can darken and that darkening is not is not reversible. But it has not been, that's been reported using the prescription medication for glaucoma as opposed to using it with Putting the Putting it directly in the exactly. eye. Exactly. Okay, so exactly. you're not supposed to get this in your eye. You no, you don't want to get this, on. you don't want to get this in your eye. Um, there's also been some reports of some darkening of the eyelid that appears to be temporary. I mean, in general, it's very safe to use and it's a lot of fun. All right, we have before and after shot. Um, this is me, you know, because I put, I tried this stuff, what? Right. After using it for 30 days, maybe. So you're not even at what is considered the maximum amount right. of time and in order know, to I'm get growth. And, you know, I'm not very consistent. I just put it on one night and then forget about it. Right. Next, so, you know, this doesn't yeah. happen. The, the picture on the top is you starting, and the picture on the bottom is you, as you said, about 30 days. And we expect that patients will get the maximum growth at about 16 weeks. So okay. you're not even, you're not even close. So yeah. the, that push broom that I'm requesting might still get there. Yeah. I want to ask you like a camel. Like Camels a ca have really camel, amazing. Yeah. My golden retriever too, unfortunately, yeah. and my five-year-old son, like he needs them. Now, see, I didn't think it was even doing much because I but was. But can going, you tell oh, the you difference know. in the picture? I was thinking like ridiculous, big hairy things. I need to actually carry my eyelashes, but no. And and as the picture shows, they even in using it consistently. Okay, the other catch though. The, the, you, this doesn't last forever. No. So there is there is a period of time where we instruct patients to use it every day, and then you get the maximum growth. Then it can be maintained, but it's not something that persists forever. So maintenance is typically once to twice a week. All right. I, I know my producer, you, you know, Zach is an, our new producer, okay. and he... He has eyelashes. He doesn't use the curler. I t I, he didn't want me to talk about him. Yeah. He doesn't use this. And they're naturally occurring. They're dark. They're curly. Right. Nature seems unfair, you know, giving guys and or like my, one of my staff, lashes. Right, one of my staff <laughs> people has the most unbelievable eyelashes and without Latisse. But for those of us who are not blessed like that, this is something that we can do that's a little something that's really safe. 
but yeah. it's fun. Okay, sorry about that, Zach, but um, you do have <laughs> extraordinary eyelashes. We need to go take a break. Uh, we've got a bunch of phone calls, interesting questions. Uh, we'll be right back, but for more information about Dr. Lee, call her 510-704-2170 or check her out on the web at Artful Surgery. Dot com. And when we come back on Body Beautiful, we'll continue talking about eyelashes as long as everybody wants to talk and about it. I'll tell you about my special. Ooh, we'll also take your calls.